Brendan Gulick and Juliana Rubin from George Finney Stadium tonight. We're on the women's soccer field. The John Carroll Blue Streaks beat the Bolden Wallace Yellow Jackets by a final of, uh, of one to nothing. And a game that was just kind of frustrating for BW because they didn't really have a lot going offensively and they kind of had some trouble stringing some passes together. Absolutely. The Yellow Jackets struggled to play possession, which is their game. They struggled in the midfield. While I, I would say in the first half, neither team really controlled the midfield, Baldwin Wallace definitely did not have possession, and their, their offensive third possession was, was very much lacking, that they didn't really string together those passes. There wasn't energy. There wasn't really any creativity. Like you said, they're just kind of hitting it up and hoping to run and chase after it, and that just didn't work for them tonight. They usually play pretty well defensively, and you've got to give John Carroll credit on their goal because it came from about 30 yards out. Katie O'Donnell struck a really nice ball into the bottom left corner of the net. Emma Bruno made a great effort at it, just couldn't quite keep it out of the frame. Yeah, I think that goal was definitely given up in the midfield. I think that the lack of control in the midfield by Baldwin Wallace's part is what allowed Katie O'Donnell to score that goal. I think, Bal or I think the Blue Streaks were playing really well. I think Baldwin Wallace's back line played played pretty solid tonight. I think Emma Bruno played really well. Um, she did make a diving effort. Unfortunately, it just went underneath her. But it was a great shot. You can't knock Katie O'Donnell for that because it was a rocket. Offensively, when the Yellow Jackets did have chances, Rachel Bender took a couple of shots tonight. Courtney Schutz had a couple of good looks from deep. Even Morgan Gray put one off the top of the crossbar on a set piece. It just kind of felt like as the night progressed, it, it wasn't going to be BW's night. Yeah, they definitely had a couple of chances that were just unlucky. I mean, and those are the opportunities, unfortunately, in a game like this that you have to capitalize on. So John Carroll wins the game one nothing. Player of the game tonight, Emma Bruno. I know she did give up the only goal of the night, but really thought she played well. I think that Emma Bruno kept the Yellow Jackets in the game to an extent. I mean, they outshot us, and Emma Bruno made saves, so she made everything but one save, and I think it was a great shot. It was from far out. It's difficult to make. I think the surface was a little bit wet tonight, so it's difficult to see where that ball is going to go. Most definitely not her fault. I think that she had great distribution. I think that she demanded her back line, and she communicated with her team excellent, and I think that she made a lot of big saves and held on to the ball really well. And there's no doubt that the uh, playing surface did play into effect tonight for whatever reason. It, it never rained during the course of the game, but it was just a, a lot of moisture in the air, and it made for some slick footing. Both teams all night long were, were struggling to keep their footing, so that was definitely a, a point of emphasis throughout the game. Okay, next for BW is the Muskingum Fighting Muskies. They're here on Saturday afternoon. We'll have it live for you at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Hope you can be here. The Yellow Jackets fall to 1-2-1 one, and one in conference play. John Carroll has won for the fifth time in their last six games. They are now 3-0-1 oh, in the OAC. For Juliana Rubin, I'm Brendan Gulick. We'll see you next time on BWYellowJackets.com.